simplistic, predictable, and confusing at times. I didn't find it to be very enjoyable. Playing with Fire is about Jake Carson and his team of smoke jumpers. They're told that a house is on fire out in the woods. They rush to see if they can save anyone from the burning house. When Jake Carson jumps into the flaming house, he's surprised to find three young children alive without their parents. Jake miraculously rescues them and delivers them safely to his fire depot. Jake and his team learn that their parents can't retrieve them until the following day. As smoke jumpers, they realize that they will have to provide a safe harbor for the children for the night. <laughs> Shortly after the kids settle into the fire depot, chaos ensues. The kids are out of control, and the team of smoke jumpers are totally out of sorts trying to manage them. This movie was very average. The writers tried too hard to make it funny. The movie trailers I viewed in advance of the screening seemed funny. It wasn't nearly as funny as I expected. And I didn't really understand all of the My Little Pony references. Playing with Fire has many famous actors who I typically love in movies like John Cena, Keegan Michael Key, and Judy Greer. My favorite character is Zoe, played by Finley Rose Slater. She's so lovable. The message of the movie is that it's okay to show your emotions. This movie has no bad language. There are some risky things that kids might try to imitate, such as jumping into fire and running away. I give this movie a 3 out of 5 stars, and I recommend this for ages 7 to 10. This movie is in theaters on November 8, 2019. This is Catherine reporting for Kids First. Please don't forget to subscribe to Kids First, and be sure to check out all of our reviews. See you later. Bye! Boom Boom. Boom Boom? What's Boom Boom? Don't look at me. Don't do it or I'm going to...